now has 25, none bigger than those two. Drexel trying to come down with the answer, down by six. Your first option is to think three. Lexer down on the play. Gaffney driving, got hit, and he's going to the free throw line. Well, he was thinking three of a different variety. The end one got the foul ball hung up on the rim for a little bit. The opportunity to earn two from the line without the clock moving. Lexer apparently is upset. At some point or other in this one, the physical stuff is going to have to stop. An immediate hush falling over the place as Gaffney hits on the free throw. Two for two tonight, 14 points for Greg Gaffney. Five here in the second half. The second free throw is also good. Drexel coming up to press now. Once again, down by four. But now with just 102 left to go. On defensive substitution as Starks comes in for Dearborn. And a tip ball. Nearly lost, and it is lost. Drexel's got it back. And even one minute left, and the defense turns up, and now the Dragons down by four. But the thunder is heard from behind us with the fans stamping in the aisles. They're going to try to get it back down to a two or one point game. Billy Herring with offensive substitutions as he gets Dearborn back into the game. Along with Kowser. Daphne, the point guard. Now Durakis finds a seam and hits the three. It's a one point game. And no need to foul anymore now with 50 seconds left. Kowser will be forced to take a shot on this possession. Right now. Towson is hanging on. Drexel's coming at him with all they've got. There's just 38 seconds left and a timeout. Mike Jaskolski calls for it. 37.8 on the game clock. 23 on the shot clock. So one way or another, Drexel's going to get this back with a shot and an answer. We're well, just kind of sailing along to a very boring, bad play game, and then all of a sudden... And it all turned on the shot by Newton. You know, not only a bad play, not only a dirty play, but not a very smart play because that has totally changed the game. They were up 16 at that point in time, got the fans back in it, got Brexel's players back into the game. That's totally changed everything that was going on here this evening. I said it at the time, I'll stand by it right now, and the scoreboard right now is proof of that emotional lift that Drexel and its fans got watching their, not even arguably, their best player go down. Yep. And having it happen on an intentional play, a dirty play, and now, here's your turnover. And it's all keyed right there by Berheem Riley on the out-of-bounds pass, and it gets converted into a three-point shot right there by Duraka's defense holding all over him, but he's able to find the mark. But again, credit Billy Harrion and his staff, offensive, defensive substitutions sometimes don't work out. That time it did as they got Riley on the basketball to set the full court pressure. Just the one full timeout for Towson. Drexel is out of them. But the Dragons on a 20-8 run since Joe Linderman was felled by the forearm from Derek Newton. So here it goes. The game of the year for Drexel if they were to come back and win it. Towson mightily trying to hang on. Get the ball where they want it. Expect big and wise to have the ball once again when it comes down to the crunch time. Nine on the timer. Biggs carried the ball. He carried the ball on the outside of the turnover number 16 on Towson. Gives it back to Drexel, and they are going to have an opportunity to come down and try to win the game. Well, his favorite moves, that spin move. He thought about spinning, held it up, and it indeed turned the ball over. Drexel with the chance, unbelievably, to take the lead. No timeouts left for the Dragons. They're going to have to run it called out of the last timeout. Time winding down. Gaffney caught on the baseline. Trying to kick back out again. The ball saved. Three seconds left. Dearborn fighting Duracus, and he got fouled. With .7 seconds to go, Mike Duracus just got fouled. He's got a chance to go to the line and win the game. Well, 
just an appropriate play right there, about as wild a finish of a game as you're going to see. Remember, Towson has the one timeout. It's a one and one situation. Mike Durakis has yet to shoot a free throw tonight. I wonder whether Towson thinks about using the timeout here to try to ice him or seeing what happens. But it is a one and one. If the first one is missed, 0.9 seconds to go. Towson's got to cover the rebound. Durakis 73% on the year. And he has not shot a free throw tonight. He's got 25 points. Tie game. Uh, you know, he's thinking about one thing right now. This one's for Joe Lindemann sitting back in the locker room. Game on the line here with .7 left. And now nobody on the line with Darakis. It's all about from 15 feet away for the winner. Save the timeout, Mike Jaskowski for just that situation. If they hit the foul, such as see Billy Arian trying to get his team. And he's even saying, you know what? Let him go crazy. I'm going to try and figure out what we're doing here. But Jaskowski saved the timeout instead of using it to ice the foul shooter. But right now to try and set up a play, it has to be a tap play with under one second left, just .7 left. It's going to have to be a tap. Mike Durak is the most important free throw shot of the season for him. Here we had it. And how about his performance in the last 10 minutes? He just took over this game when Lindemann went out. He went crazy from beyond the three-point line, was struggling the whole time. It's his biggest and his 27th point from the foul line to take the lead. 27th point of the night. And what a turn of events here at the Physical Education Athletic Center. It was a 16-point game. Towns it on top. And here's a look at Durakis getting fouled. And the desperation foul by Wise as he was going down with .7 seconds to go. And if he was not fouled, he would have had a tough time getting the shot up before the buzzer. So now Towns is going to take one crack at it. It's going to have to be nearly a catch and shot. Seven tenths of a second left. Lexer to throw it in. There's the knock away, and Lexer, incredibly, has come back and won the ball game. And they're going crazy here in West Philadelphia. Down by 16 points. Their leader fell by a dirty shot. The Dragons turned around on a dime, and Mike Durakis with two free throws with less than a second left. Win it tonight by a score of 72 to 71. You want to write drama, write it better than that. Uh, you certainly can't do that. That was an incredible comeback. They stayed with it, down by 16. That event, though, the foul by Newton, the dirty shot on the punch, turned this game around, and Drexel survives with an incredible one-point win. One-point victory for the Drexel Dragons. They're celebrating and will be here for a while in West Philadelphia. Well, they're going to be celebrating. We're going to be hanging around, and we will be back as we continue. Take a look at the celebration out here in the center of the floor. As Drexel pulls back what would nearly be considered a miracle victory. 72-71 the final. Bill Harrion will be joining us, among others, when we come back. <laughs> 